How you doing everybody? Bear Man here. Welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. We are making some fantastic progress. However, I did a few things off camera because I can never help myself. First and foremost, what I did was I finished this platform extending it out. Uh, as you can see, I was gathering stuff. Uh, what I've also done is... I'll tell you about that in a minute. Hold on. I have gathered lots of stuff and things and kind of organized them. So I've got a thing full of iron, a thing full of titanium, magnesium, silicon, and cobalt. And as you can see, I labeled each one. I've also gathered, what was it in here? A whole bunch of ice just to keep things going. Now, one thing you may notice, look at the top right. You notice that my transformation index is frozen in time. That is because between episodes, when I'm just out gathering, I actually shut down the power so that way you guys don't miss anything. I don't want you guys to think that I'm trying to make advancement without showing you. The whole point of these videos is to show you what we can do. And so I halt all my progress. So let's get that back up and running now. Let's uh, boom, boom like that. And just like that we now have power once again the other thing i did was i have toggled run i can't believe i played this game all this time so many times so many hours and i never knew about it let me show you hit escape go to options go over to controls right there tick that box hit toggle run then when you hit the uh, tab key you're running hit it again you're not Oh, it has saved my pinky so much ache. Right, okay. Now, the base looks... Nothing. It's just a base. I'm going to extend it out and get myself nice and organized. I want to start jazzing it up. I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet. But I want to keep extending this out. And how we're going to do that is grab lots of stuff. Let's see. I've got lots of stuff. And just keep extending. I think at least... Oh, we need to build one of these. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, that's good. That reminds me. Um, at least... Stack two more. Can I do any more? I think I've run out. Okay, let me grab some stuff. Fortunately, we've got lots of stuff. Um, all right, here we go. One, two, and three. Boom. Now we've got all this. So I'm going to move all these heaters back to over there. So that way they're out of the way. I might even move them back over there out of the way. And then we're going to set up a kind of an area for plants and construction. Let me get started. Ooh, look at that veggie tube T3. That's cool. I think that means they go outside. Let me um, investigate that. But finish moving all some of this stuff here. Okay, we've definitely made a lot more room. I want to move these, but I can't move them. Oh, seeds. No, they're not. They're only at 70%. Once they are, then we'll get moved back here. Now, T3 veggie tubes. They, I would assume, have to be outside. Uh, now, I've got everything I need. Fortunately, I've got lots of ice. Let me get one ice. Oh, man, I really wish I could pin recipes, but I'll get to it. Okay, iron... Yeah, I'll get them. Okay, got all the things. Now, let me make sure it can't be done. Oh, I need water. Ugh, thought I did that. All right, let me just quickly make some water. And now, let's try to put this down. And yeah, so it wants to be outside only. Now, I don't remember if I can put these babies on here. You know, you can't. They're definitely directly connected to the ground only okay well that changes things a bit doesn't it what if i built out uh, no tell you what let me just put one down and we will just kind of put them outside here losing energy that's fine if i take down one of these babies i don't know if that's enough to Restore power? It isn't. Okay, we're going to have to build another power, but at the very least, we'll stick that in there and let's get some power. Really need some of that, but I'm not ready to build those yet. And I can really use that, but uh, we've got to go check and see if we can find osmium. 
Wow, more meteorites. I need to go get some aluminum. All right, back up and running. Fortunately, there's some aluminum dropped from the sky. That's all good. Okay, so this is supplying us with 26 oxygen compared to that, which is 2.4, and that's 1.8. So they are worth it. Let's uh, get on building those. Okay, there you go. All up and running. Oh, and we've got a launch platform. That's cool. We're really cranking out these uh, solar panels. We need to get the next tier up. But let's have a look at our oxygen. Look at our oxygen. That's flying. That's the fastest I've ever seen it go. Whoa. Right. Now, you know, that biodome, if I remember correctly, does oxygen like crazy. And look at us. Oh, we are about to hit. What good timing. About to hit clouds. Boom. We're cloudy. Yep. Definitely cloudy. Doesn't look much difference. That's because it starts transitioning way before it gets there. But, ooh, we'll take the clouds. Which means we're going to start heading towards rain. Ugh. Rain is uh, very loud and gets in the way. But, right, I need to build one of these. Which means I need three super alloy. Which means I need to go venturing somewhere over there. I know there is a super alloy field over there. But this gives us a chance to explore that wreck and get some super alloy all at the same time so let's head over there look at that see tons of super alloy all over here let's uh grab what we can and then we'll go over there set up a little outpost so we can explore that wreck okay let's head into the wreck there's my little outpost this one's a little bit on the tricky side oh you know what that'll help i'm gonna go put a little um locker in here the locker storage because we end up gathering lots of stuff at least we have a place to put it temporarily did i make water for myself Ooh, i didn't dummy all right our first blue crate Whoa. oh ah bean seeds they're so good i need them let's uh destroy that Whoop. Uh, uh, uh. there you go there we go okay Couple more locker, more, more crates. Ooh, a blueprint chip. Oh, I needed that. That's fantastic. Well done, game, for figuring out what I need. And is there anything else over here? There's that over there. Let's get past this. How much space do we have left? Oh, we got a little bit. Let's get rid of that. We can use the iron. And let's check out what's in here. More food. Ooh, more super alloy. Can always use that. Some of that more sprouts that's a 300 percent multiplier Ooh, i love that okay cool right let's go uh, store this stuff and come back more stuff to get okay let's see what's in here another blueprint microchip and we've got some more aluminum definitely use that and super alloy but let's break this down so we know we've done it i think oh there's another blueprint right excellent oh and a blue crate i didn't even see that one Fantastic. And another 300 percenter. Love it. Our oxygen is going to fly up. Now, I think we can go over there and get some more super alloy. How much room do we have? I'll uh, make some room by drinking that. And, ooh, and getting rid of that, of course. There we go. Let's see how much. We can at least get four more super alloy. Let's go grab those while we're here. Don't want to miss out the opportunity to take as much back with us as we can. Fortunately, it's super close and it shouldn't be a problem. T3 heater. Yay. Right, let's grab that. That's our last space that we need. Let's head back home. Oh, there's more super alloy all over the place, but that's okay. We can handle it. Okay, we've really brought the goods this time. I'm going to dump off the stuff I don't need immediately. Try to take stuff that I want. Which is definitely those things. As much super alloy as I can. Uh, how much super alloy? Oh, boom. There you go. I want one of those. So let's get rid of these seeds and take that. Um, is there any more good ones? I mean, that's good 200. But uh, that looks okay for now. Do like the aluminum. But again, we're not far off. We can come back. Let's go head home. Which, where's the red? Where's the red? Can you see it? It's over there. Look at that. It helps. All right, let me go ahead there. 
and we'll see what it takes oh you know what let's what does the t3 heater take whoa rods well we definitely need to start making some more um crafting stations because the next crafting station will start allowing us to make those things okay let me swap these out there's uh this is a 200 that's a 200 that is a 200 oh you know what it would be easier if i made room for myself okay there we go let's pull that out put a 300 in let's pull that out put a 300 in that should really be cranking up our oxygen oh my goodness is it flying we've got way more things to do the heat is the lo lowest but we'll be okay now next what did we want to do um we've got these blueprints let's go decode those Right, a new satellite goes with our rocket station. That's cool. Uh, an area lamp, which is cool. And mapping. Ooh, that helps because then we can be able to hit M. Is it M? And then we'll be able to see the map wherever we are. Very cool. Right, not ready for any of that yet. We definitely want to expand out this way. Because I want to put this guy up. And now that we have enough stuff to do it, I want to do that. Now, the thing with building with, for me is I want to make it have a bit of a space station feel. And corridors always feel more space station-y if you get that. So I want to build a corridor out that way along with some platforms to support it all. You'll see what I mean. And uh, I'll bring it back and I'll show you and then we'll install that. Okay, here we are. We made this corridor, put some foundations in it. Let's stick our thing, biodome, right here. The easy way, easiest way I find it. Oh, you know what? We've had to make use of science. I don't make enough use of science. Is to click this there and then you see the little link. You know it's going to go there. Boom. And there we are. And that's power shut down. <laughs> right. Ooh, we really need to build our little crafting area and get ourselves to the next level. But let me go temporarily stick in another sun thing. And then we'll start exploring some of this and I'll show you what it looks like on the outside. Okay, in case you guys were wondering how to figure out all this power situation so you're not surprised like I always seem to be. You build one of these power interfaces, energy screens, and it says I'm producing 175. I need 177. So that means I need at least one more solar panel. All right, there you go. L lots of solar panels. Look at that solar panel farm. Wow. Okay, let's head inside. Things are now working for us. And we've got this new screen here. I've got no water. Um, which shows us all our biomass unlocking. Pretty cool. It's a beautiful little dome. I like it. Okay. Um, let me get some water and then I'm going to move these guys down to there. Okay, they're moved, which frees up this space here, which is where I'm going to put two things. All right, before I move that, ooh, grass spreader. Oh, very cool. Okay, uh, too many things. Uh, we need one of these. So we need three aluminum. Uh, yeah, let me find that. I think I gathered enough aluminum. Well, I bet you I use it all up on that, um... Oh, on the solar panels. Yes, I did. Let me get three more aluminum. Ooh, microchip. T1 blueprint pinning. That is so needed. Oh, you know what? Can I do it now? Um, No, I need aluminum. I need osmium. Okay, aluminum. How many did I say I need? I need three. Be right back. Need to put in a back door. Keep having to run completely around my base. That's no fun. Excuse me. I bet you I left aluminum over there, but doesn't matter. We're here. Let's just grab it. I think there's... What's in this? Let's find out. There's no aluminum, but there is a blueprint. Blue, blue, blueprint microchip. I really struggle with that. There's a wreck. I'm not investigated, but we'll do that in a bit. Right now, I just want to find aluminum. Aluminium. Oh, look. See, there's one. Oh, I should have de constructed that other one all right so we only have uh how many we need we needed three we need one more and boom 
Let's run back. See what I mean? It looks more space uh, station-y when you have things just hanging out there. That looks cool. Definitely need a door. I should make a corridor and then a door. That'll feel space station-y. Right, okay. What do we need? We need titanium, magnesium, and silicon. Boom. We have all those things. Now, let's uh, grab this and put it in. Boom. Let's take this out and put it next to it. Because we still need that, even though we have the nets. One thing they've not done is incorporate all the T1 stuff into the T2 crafter. Don't know why, but it is what it is. And then you can see we can make these rods, which is very important. But look at that, baby. We need one of those, which means we need those. Look at that. And we can make a next version of the oxygen tank and a bigger backpack. We've got things we got to make and lots of them. Right. Well, before we do that, we need... Well, I wanted to put heaters. Those are the things that are killing us the most. Because heat is not going as fast as the rest. Although everything's still flying up pretty well. And we are, well, 50% into rain. Wow. We are flying. All right, what do we want to make first? Let's make some decisions. Decision is, I need to make a door. Okay, here we go. Door. Let's put you in. One. Two. Come on. Two. Why are you not working? Oh. Sometimes it gets tricky like that. Let's go outside and find out. It's this. That's the problem. You cannot put something into the ground. It's super annoying. That's okay. We've got a door. Let's put it on. Boom. We're out. And there's our base. Now we can run through there. Oh, you know what I did say? I wanted to put some signs in. That requires... Oh, where's... Right. Signs are magnesium. Been a long time since I made a sign. Oh, can I not make signs? I can't make signs. Right. Never mind. Signs are coming. Don't let that be a spoiler. All right. I'm going to go... Grab all the stuff I left over there and grab as much super alloy as I can and bring it back. Oh, we have a blueprint. I forgot. Let's decode that. Big living compartment. Oh, now that just throws a real big hitch in my plans because that means I can consolidate everything. Wow, I love to consolidate, but not ready for it yet. We'll just keep hold of that. Uh, maybe we can go up. No, not yet. We're not ready for up. Not ready for up. We do need some of that. Oh, you know what? We need big time aluminum. Oh. And I'm going all over the place. And we need to send rockets in the sky. Right. Let's go get my stuff. And we need to make grass. Let me go get my stuff. Oh, wait. Pinning. Pinning. Wait. That was what I wanted to do first. Pinning. We need... Oh, we need osmium. Forget about it. Right? Was that the right one? Yeah, we need osmium. We're not ready for that. Let me get my stuff. I don't remember ever seeing a chest up here before, but hey, there is one. Oh, there's lots of goodies in it, too. I'll take that. Well, we're nearly, uh, nearly got our bags full. And I think there's still some more in spite of this storm coming. Ooh, look at that. We can now collect water. That's awesome. Right, let me head back home before I die. Oh, I love it when I barely escape death. <laughs> Ooh, flower pot. Interesting. Okay, I've decided we cannot keep going unless we add more power. Look at our power right now. We are generating 195. We are using 189. We've only got five available. So we need to up our energy game, which means we need these. Which means I need to go get some more uranium. I mean, I can do some. I don't think I have much. But, so I don't think you need at least nine. I don't think I have nine. Well, it's pretty close. But the reality is, let's go gather some. In order to gather some, I really need to travel to uranium mine, which is kind of sort of over that way. And it becomes far. So in order to travel far fast, let's get ourselves a jetpack. In order to get a jetpack, we need two rockets. In order to get two rockets, we need two iridium rods. So let's do that. One, two. Okay. Now we need two uranium and two super alloy. 
All right, let's gather that. Okay, create two rocket engines. Boom. Oh, I need two more uranium. Sorry. I boomed too fast. And another rocket engine. Now, we need one titanium. We have here. Give ourselves a jetpack and put that on our back. And let's get outside. And there you go. Look at that. We can fly. No more going around things. Awesome. Favorite thing in the game is the jetpack. Okay, so we need to get some self, ourselves some uranium. There is a Ferris wheel kind of a thingy mabobber over that way, which right down at the bottom of it, just to the right of it, is uranium. I'm going to go get myself some, unless I think I can make one. Let's see. I'm going to count up how many I have. Okay, just as I thought, not enough to make a rod. So we need to go do that. Let me grab myself some water to in preparation and some food and we will head over there. What I also need to do is make sure I bring stuff to be able to build a little habitat while I'm out there and I don't die because dying is not optimal. Okay, boom, good. Let's head out our back door and go look for our super cool uranium field. Up oh, there, you can see the Ferris wheel out there. Hey, it's starting to rain. Cool. We're shifting into the next gear. Oh, there's the Ferris wheel. And over this way is a uranium mine just below one of these caverns. I can't remember if it's this one or the next one. Oh yeah, there's that. Um, I'm leaving that alone. We can discover what's in it. Must be the next one. Look at that. I flew right past it, not even thinking. There it is in there. Let's set up a little station here. We'll open that in a second. Um, so that way we can run in and out. And we'll put the door here so we can have maximum oxygen. Oop, we got one of those. That's great. Let's head in there and clean up what we can. I just need to make nine. I just need nine, really, because I just want to make one for now. But if we can get extra, I'll take everything I can. You know what? Stop. Stop it. Wow. I don't remember this having this many, but I keep saying that. And it's probably my memory. That's the problem. Not that they've changed the game. Ooh, I don't remember Blue Crate in here. Again, I keep saying that. And it's probably always been in here. What do we got? Well, we'll take everything. And we'll get rid of you. I think I've just about cleaned up everything in here. I don't see any more. Oh, wait. Oh, that's my base. Huh. All right. Let me just take a quick scan. And I'll get out. This is a good place to set up an ore miner, by the way, when it's time. Okay, cool. I got everything. Let me head here. All right. How much do I have? Oh, wow. Well, I've got tons let me oh that's a 400 oh wow i like the 400 i gotta take that with me i don't want you anymore i want that okay let's head back home i think i got enough oxygen to do that where is my home it is look for the red look for the red wow it's hidden must just be blending in but it is somewhere over there oh there it is that way that background looks different I'm going to have to go through an old video to see if that's changed. But again, it's probably my memory. Okay, so let's take a look at our energy panel. And you can see that we are using 10 solar panels to produce 195. And one of these babies produces 86. So we really need three of them. Don't know if we have enough to make three, but let's uh, see how many we can produce right now. One, two, three. Do I have enough for three? I am six short. Oh, did I have six? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wow. What luck that was. Okay. Boom. Okay. That's cool. We need, right, water and super alloy. I think we've got the super alloy coming out of our ears, but maybe not enough. Let's see. One. Uh, um, let me put some of that away. Um, right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Wow, we're getting lucky there. We need six, uh, six water. Okay, I've got ice somewhere. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Let's go Oops. Uh, make three bottles of water. One, two, and three. And now we have everything. Oh, I need a six. I can't count. Four, five, six. Okay. So now we have enough to make three of these i don't have much room but i'm going to start tearing them down right here and putting them on yep um right i'm gonna have to tear these down put them away and come back wow i didn't even notice we're already in the rain stage we're moving on to liquid water liquid water what other kind of water is there oh we're flying through this absolutely flying Okay, but as you can see, I have now produced three of those, which is way over and above our needs. We've got 70 available left to us, which is great. So less um, feeling of we're going to have issues. Let's gather all our seeds. I want to create another one of those for a bean sprouts, which are great to eat. Okay, cool. Put those bean sprouts in there. I'm going to eat some of this and store the rest away. But what I remembered is I've got, uh, where is it? That guy, a 400, which is cool. Let's go stick that 400 in because we could always use the extra oxygen. So that's a 300, that's a 300, that's a 200. You get out of there. Boom. That should really help our oxygen cause, which is still absolutely flying through the roof. We're not quite ready for the next level of heater yet because we've got to go get some iridium. Yep. Yes. And then set up a little ore extractor there, but we are not ready for that. Let me empty my pockets once again, get myself some water, decide what we're going to do next. Okay, good. Now, next, we need water collectors because... Manually making water is a pain in the neck. Oh, you know what? Can I do this yet? Can I do a pinning recipe? I bet you I've looked at this before and said I can't because I need something. Uh, I need osmium. Well, we can go get osmium. I think we're at that terraformation in the next level that would allow it. But we'll, we'll hold off on that. Right, water. Okay, we have everything we need to create a water thingamabobber. I'm going to try. You know what? That looks like a perfect place for it. Look at that. And it's huge. It's uh, too big, but it's not going to stop me. Boom. Look at that. And then after a while, this just fills up with water. It's perfect. It's huge. I love it. Probably could have put it over here as well. That doesn't matter. Right. So now we're getting water. Now there are a few other things that we can do into this guy. We can get that. Oh, let's do that now. Okay, next level here. Right, we are at 280. What does that put us at? 370. Oh, feels good to breathe. And three more to get ourselves a next level of backpack. Okay, what do we have now? We have four, six, 24. Let's do it. Boom, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have 28. Woohoo. Okay, what else? We did that, we did that, we did that. Wow, we're all caught up on that. But there were... There was... Oh, we got rockets. We're not ready for rockets. We got a compass. Um, let me think about this. Well, the next stage is definitely going to be... We need iridium. Which means we need to set ourselves up with a little ore extractor in there. Which means we need to go get osmium, which is over there. Let me go see if that's defrosted. If it is, we'll grab some. And then we will, because I think we only need one, or we need two, and that will do it for us. Okay, we cannot get this until we get to 100 NK, but that's okay. I think there's another osmium cave. Oh, look at that. Our water collector is collecting water nicely. That's beautiful. You know what I should do? Set up a little temporary, uh, what's it called? storage locker so that way i can if i catch if i walk past it take it out put it in there 
and it'll constantly start producing some water and I have spare sitting in a locker which is always a good thing right there so let's grab that all and stick it in there and boom we've got water we'll even label this H2 O there you go boom we're good good to go well, I know where to get some osmium going back there not quite yet there is a cave over there but there is an even better place lying on the ground all the way over there but we'll have to do that in our next episode when we get all of our ore extractors up and running and start producing a larger amount of ore so we're not running around picking stuff up off the ground and that's gonna be it for today i hope you enjoyed it i had a good time if you enjoyed the video let me know leave a comment leave a like and as always feel free to subscribe and until the next one when we keep tearing this place apart to make it better i'll see ya